everybody, this is Heather with the Eastern Panhandle Conservation District and today we are going to read a story on vegetables and what is the best part of a vegetable. Some might know this story as a kid, um, some might have never heard it before, but it's a great way to introduce the concept of tops and bottoms and middles on plants, especially with vegetable plants. Um, so if you're not sure which book you're going to read yet, it is Tops and Bottoms, and it is adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Um, and I actually just learned something um, about this book while reading the cover. Um, so Janet Stevens is the author and illustrator of many acclaimed picture books. Um, and a cool thing about this book in particular um, is that the illustrations in this book were created on paper made by hand from carrots, corns, potatoes, beans, radishes, tomatoes, and even a pair of gardening pants and shirt. Um, so thought that was pretty cool um, to be able to use all of those things um, in the creation of this book called Tops and Bottoms. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear, and he had given all of his wealth to his son. But all Bear wanted to do was sleep. See Bear sleeping on his porch. Not far down the road lived a hare. Although a hare was clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to Bear to pay off the debt. Hare and his family were in very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together and cooked up a plan. You can see their family. The next day, Hare hopped down the road to Bear's house. Bear, of course, was asleep. Hello, Bear, wake up. It's your neighbor, Hare, and I have an idea. Bear opened one eye and grunted. We can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting, and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, we are in this together. I'll work and you sleep. Hmm? said Bear. So what will it be, Bear? asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you. Tops or bottoms? Uh, let's see, Bear said with a yawn. I'll take the top half, Hare. Right? Tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deer deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded. If you know anything about a garden, there's lots of weeding that needs to be done. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You got the tops and I got the bottoms. Hare and his family dug up the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. Hare plucked off all the tops, tossed them into a pile for Bear, and put the bottoms aside for himself the carrots and the beets. And now the bear, of which these are, you can eat all of these. These are called the greens, but they're probably not as tasty to a bear as what the carrots would be. Bear stared at his pile. But hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the top bear, hare said. Now hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this season I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the bottoms, and I get the tops. Hare and his family gathered up the lettuce, the broccoli, and the celery. Hare pulled off the bottoms for Bear and put the tops in his own pile. Bear looked at his pile and scowled. 
Hare, you cheated me again. But Bear, Hare said, you wanted the bottoms this time. Bear growled, you plant this field again, Hare. You've tricked me twice, and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. You're right, poor old Bear, sighed Hare. It's only fair you get both tops and bottoms this time. It's a done deal, Bear. Now, what do you think that Hare is going to plant? So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded, and they watered and weeded some more. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! This time you get the tops and bottoms. There in front of Bear's house, lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Hare tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. Bear rubbed his eyes and watched. See, bear, you get the tops and the bottoms. I get the middle. Yes, sir, bear, it's a done deal. By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, Hare, he hollered. From now on, I'll plant my own crops and take the tops, bottoms, and middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. Hare bought back his land with a profit from the crops, and he and Mrs. Hare opened a vegetable stand. And although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again. The end. So, you can see that there's tops, bottoms, and middles to vegetables. And you might have to be kind of thinking and cunning like that Hare was to know which is the best part for which plant.